looks really matter. People, especially online, when they're searching for relationships, in particular in when it comes to romance, what they do is that they go for the looks as, a, as like the first thing. Co-creator Robert Hintz came up with the idea for the site based on his own adventures in online dating. When I was looking for a partner, uh, I was going through numerous of unattractive profiles like, no, she's too geeky or no, this person here seems a little uh, socially, I don't know, uh, not working. <laughs> and, uh, and what I found was I wasn't the only one going for the looks as the first thing. Robert was on existing mainstream sites, uh, perusing through numerous unattractive profiles and getting unsolicited mail from people who were far away from his ideal match. He then dreamt up the idea of creating this ideal online world where everyone on there was beautiful. The site caught on and quickly evolved into a complete online society exclusively for the beautiful. Beautiful people started as a dating site, you know, and it developed into so much more into this lifestyle tool for beautiful people. But the fundamental premise that it is based on is that everyone wants to be with someone they're attracted to, at least initially. And it's not politically correct to say so, but it is certainly honest. It kind of makes you wonder why people who are so hot need this kind of site in the first place. They don't necessarily, like, have to go there. They're just, they're just a part of being, uh, you know, um, up a mobile person today. So they're using the internet and dating sites and online networking sites as a supplement, not an alternative. It's not so much a need, it's a desire. You know, people want to have, people want to have this beautiful lifestyle tool. They want to have access to the best little black book in the world. And just who gets to be a part of the world's best little black book is up to the members themselves. You put up a picture profile, a job description, a profile description, and you're being rated over a 72 hour period by the members of the opposite sex. So the girls are voting in the guys and the guys are voting in the girls. And at the end of the day, you either vote it off or you're told, well, the members of Beautiful People didn't find your application attractive enough. Sorry. It's the members who define beauty. How could, you know, how could uh, any one person, beauty is subjective, it's a state of mind, it's in the eye of the beholder. And by giving the power to the people and, and having them vote, you know, democratically on new applicants, um, we see some interesting trends between, you know, countries and cultures and the way different people perceive beauty. And what's fascinating here is, is the different ways in which men and women vote. I mean, the men, Certainly. bless us, vote the women in based solely on how they look. Whereas the women look at the bigger overall picture, how much money a guy might earn, what kind of car he drives, where he's going, where he's been. The more materialistic aspects come into play because that's the package of beauty for women. It's, hard, it's harder to get accepted onto beautiful people as a man than it is as a woman because the women are such tougher critics. The women in the UK like their men a little rough around the edges, five o'clock shadow jeans, t-shirt, whereas the women in the US like more of a clean cut suit and tie. I mean, in Japan, one in 12 people get accepted. It kills me. I mean, we've got a lot of men there that like choppy women, and they're gonna vote for choppy women. Yes, but listen, it's, it's a demo. I, I've, I wanted, I, wanted uh, I really wanted uh, Hillary Clinton to win the primaries. Obama won it, but I got my vote. This guy sitting back who likes chubby women, he's gonna get his vote, but it's gonna, it's, he's gonna get swallowed up in the majority. So while the guys don't actually select the members, they certainly do have their preferences. Scarlett, I like Scarlett. I love her too. What about Eva? Eva who, Mendez, yeah. She'd make it in. Rachel McAdams would definitely make it. Robert would definitely vote for Pamela Anderson. Kid Rock wouldn't make it, no way. Avril Lavigne without the voice, no. Nelly Furtado would make it, definitely. She's hot. The guys aren't afraid of the controversy over the site either, as you'll get to see in their upcoming reality show, now filming in Canada. On the whole show, you know, it's gonna be extremely controversial. It's loaded with humor, and at the end of it all, I'm either going to have to be the hell out of Canada or I'm going to need a security detail, and that's a fact. And controversy or not, they intend to protect the exclusivity of the site. This is how the world is today. I mean, you have to sell yourself the best way you can. Once uh, you're part of an exclusive community, first of all, it gives you the power to exclude, uh, you know, which is a very, uh, very strong feeling. Uh, but it also kind of like gives you like a, a feeling of identity and belonging. and. You, you build up a loyalty with your uh, fellow members, which means that on our side, people help each other with, with all kinds of stuff, like finding jobs, apartments. People become more beautiful or less, don't they, the more you get to know them.